For the benefit of spectators that may not be terribly familiar with the sport of wrestling, I would like to suggest that you pick up a program, or if you already have one, turn to pages two and three, where you will find an essay entitled Insights into Wrestling or How to Watch a Wrestling Bow. The first bout of the morning here at the University of Alberta Gymnasium, and it sees Canada's Steve Danier fighting for a gold medal. Now, Danier is wearing the red, he's the bearded gentleman, against Kartar Singh of India. Singh is in the blue. Round one is just underway. If Danier beats Singh, he has the silver medal, and later this morning he will face Picos of Australia for the gold, and only uh, he's in top against Kartar Singh. It's not his last match, Scott, but it's certainly his most important match. If he gets through this one against Singh of India, He's well on his way to winning the final. He'll have to meet Picos later from Australia, but this is the more important of the two matches. The heavy 90 kilo class. Daniel right now is 2-0. And, oh. and a win here would make him 3-0, oh. but uh, Kartar Singh, as Oli has mentioned, will provide his toughest competition, as most of the Indians have done so far for our Canadian wrestlers. They're just stalking right here, Scott, looking for a shot to take. There's Singh, he takes the first action. Daniel counters beautifully and goes behind, so he picks up one point. A single point for a takedown with control. As we have told you before, there are two ways to win a wrestling bout about Oli. One is by pins, the other is by points. Whoa, little imbalance on Steve's part, and Singh comes on top. Got a little bit complacent there in his technique. Relax just for a second and Singh reversed him to come on top for that one point. So the score now should be tied at one. But Danier has picked up two points there. Obviously he rolled Singh over onto his back during the exchange and now the score is 3-1 with a minute and 46 seconds left to go in round number one. Steve Danier of Canada fighting for a silver medal. Last night, Canadians won three medals. George Ganowski in 48 kilos won at least the silver. He'll meet Kumar of India tonight for the gold. Takahashi of Canada, the gold in 48 kilos. And Bob Givens of Canada, the gold in super heavyweight, 100 kilos and over. Look at, he's putting good pressure on him here. He's keeping the offense going at all times. I think he's gonna try to si tire Singh early in the first round here. There's that caution we expected. Daniel has a good tactic of keeping lots of pressure on his opponent and either scoring that takedown or drawing a caution. There he gets at one point. Singh was passive, and he loses a point for it. Four to one then for Steve Daniel as we are close to the last minute of round number one. Daniel is 23 years old from Thunder Bay where he is a car salesman. Scott, the techniques change as we get into the higher weight divisions. As you notice, the lightweights shoot legs most often in their takedowns. As we get into the bigger boys, Steve here at 198, they're mostly upper body wrestlers. And there was a nice little shock. He just rolled Singh by, lowered him to the mat for the takedown. Steve's objective here, of course, is to roll Singh from a chest down position over with his back exposed to the mat and working toward that pin. 40 seconds remaining in round number one. No action on the bottom, so they stand him up and force him to do more takedown work. Daniel is wearing the red, Singh is wearing the blue, and Singh gets behind there, but he doesn't show Look control. Now he does, that's worth a single point. Nice cross ankle pick, that's a unique move for a heavyweight to be doing, 198 pounds, but Singh had good action on that, reached across and tripped Steve's ankle and drove over him and put him down onto the mat. Five to two the score with 20 seconds remaining. Danyard's solid on the bottom. He's not going to be rolled. I think he's just going to, that's right, he'll ride it on the bottom. The official will stand them up. No activity. They're given about 15 or 20 seconds on the ground to attempt to roll the man over. If nothing happens, they'll stand him up into this takedown position. And there is the end of round number one. Steve Danyard of Canada has a 5-2 to two lead. Score at the end of the first round. Denier. I'd like to draw your attention to the fact that Steve Denaire wrestled at the Montreal Olympics at 100 kilograms and is now wrestling at 90. Okay. Round number
number two of a 90 kilo bout. This is Canada's Steve Danier wearing the red. He's the bearded gentleman against Kartar Singh of India. And this is a silver medal match for Steve Danier. If he beats Singh, he will have at least the silver medal. And later this morning, he will face Picos of Australia for the gold. A 90 kilo match. Steve Danier, as we start the second round, leads five to two, but only as we thought. Singh is providing the most competition for him in this class. We think this will st be Steve's hardest match. Uh, Singh from India here is the more experienced of the two remaining opponents for Steve in this weight division, 198 pounds. Daniel's doing a nice job. He's controlling the match here. He's initiating most of the action, so he's doing just fine with a comfortable 5-2 to two lead. Well, so far, Canadians are assured of at least three medals, two of those gold, Takahashi in 48 kilos, and Bob Gibbons in 100 kilos and over, and George Ganowski is assured of at least the uh, silver and possibly the gold tonight in 48 kilos when he faces Kumar of India. Steve's being warned here for passivity. He has to get on the offense a little bit more. He's riding on that lead he's got. So we, I think we'll see Steve initiate a little more attack in the later part of this round here, just to stay out of trouble in that caution category. Daniel, he burst onto the national scene in 1976, defeating big Claude Pilon from Ottawa for that Olympic berth. And ever since then, he's dominated the 198 pound division in Canada. Daniel is 23 years old from Thunder Bay, where he is a car salesman. So far here, he is two and zero. And as we have mentioned, if he beats Singh this morning, he will have at least a silver medal. Now, Singh has just been cautioned for the second time, and that's serious because, as we have told you before, if a wrestler receives three cautions, he is ejected from the bout. So the pressure is on Singh here now. He must wrestle. Out of bounds. Singh's just charging now, trying to stay in the race. If he gets cautioned again and the officials feel that he's passive, he's going to be eliminated from the match. So Steve's strategy here should be continual offense, try to put Singh into a defensive posture and draw that third caution to eliminate him. Six to two the score with a minute and 40 seconds left to go here in the second round. And Daniel is well on his way to winning at least the silver medal in 90 kilos. Again, Daniel is wearing the red. The bearded gentleman, Singh, tries to get behind for the single point. He was awarded it. Daniel went down momentarily onto his knees and that was enough to give Singh that one point takedown. Well, Singh certainly he's is got being lots. the aggressor, just as he has to be with two cautions. Yeah, he's got lots left, it looks like. He was a little bit slow in the start, but he is now taking the, the action to Steve. He's picked up one point in the second round here, which puts it at a 6-3. Daniel still leading. So Singh has closed the, gra uh, the gap to three points, and it could be a very interesting finish here in this bout. We're seeing much more action in the heavyweight division this morning here, Scott, because of the uh, temperature in the room. It's a little better for wrestling. They don't tire quite as quick. Look at Singh. He's starting to pull away with it now. That's two in a row. Momentum is definitely in his favor now. Steve has to readjust his tactics and start getting onto the offense because he has started to slide in terms of momentum. So six to four the score now as Singh starts to come on. Singh, like many of the other Indian wrestlers, we don't know too much about. They've been out of international competition since the Christchurch game, Scott. They weren't at the seven. Oh, beautiful leg sweep. That's Daniel a rare has at least two there. Leg. They gave him two for that. Steve just kicked the legs right out, of, out from under Singh. Perfect timing and dropped him onto his back and picks up a nice two-point takedown. Eight to four then for Steve Danier as he... Uh, kind of takes some of the pressure off and now he's he works high, on at... Singh trying to turn him over onto his back. He's been nursing that right knee a little bit, Scott. That might have something to do with his energy. Oh, he's got Singh in a lot of trouble here. He had him right exposed to the back. He gets an additional two points at the end there. Two points for Steve Danier then as the second round comes to an end and he leads 10 to four.
this 90 kilo bout. This is Canada's Steve Daniel wearing the red. He is the Virta gentleman against Kartar Singh of India. Singh is wearing the blue. Now this is a silver medal bout for Steve Daniel. If he beats Singh, he has at least the silver medal. And later this morning, he will face Picos of Australia for the gold. As we start round three, Daniel has a substantial six point lead. The score is 10 to four and only he came on strong late in the second round. Scored heavily toward the end of that third round. Looks like there's gonna be a caution against Steve here. Yeah, the arms up. Steve's not aggressive enough in the eyes of the officials, so he's going to receive one point penalty. He's got to get onto the offense. Now in the caution department, Singh of India has two, so he has to wrestle because as we've told you before, if a wrestler receives three cautions, he is ejected from the bout. So the pressure is on Singh to wrestle. Daniel's in on the leg. That's uh, not a very common technique for a heavyweight to be shooting. Most of the technique in the heavier division, this one being 198 pounds, most of the technique is upper body throws. But here's a nice single leg completion. Puts Daniel down. gets control for the single point. Good action there. Nice smooth technique on Steve's part. He's a hard working 198 pounder, very well conditioned. They call him the Lakehead Demolition Team, Steve Daniel from Thunder Bay, Ontario. He's 23 years old, and in Thunder Bay, he is a car salesman. Only as we expected, uh, the Indians are providing the most competition for our Canadian wrestlers here. And it's uh, certainly true in this class, 90 kilos, where Singh is giving Daniel a pretty hard time. He, sh he sure is. Uh, Daniel has one more match after this one. If he gets by Zing and beats him, uh, he will have one more match, but this is the more important of the two. Canada Steve Daniel wearing the red against Singh of India. Daniel trying to get behind for the single point, but he can't, and Singh does, so Singh has the single. Now it's 11 to six. Yeah, Steve a minute shot and 20 off seconds balance. to go. He's got Steve shot off balance there. He's initiating attack before he's composed. He has to set up before he shoots. Leave from a balanced position, penetrate deep. In that case, he shot before he was ready. Singh saw him coming and capitalized, picking up a counterpoint. Steve Daniel of Canada is in good shape to win at least the silver medal and uh, perhaps have an easy coast then to the goal later this morning when he faces Picos of Australia. That's if he gets by Singh. And right now it looks like he will because the score is 11 to 6 with only one minute to go. And only we should mention the heat this morning. It's a bit cooler than it was yesterday and that has to make for better wrestling. We've seen a lot more action than we did last night in, in this heavyweight division, 198 pounds. And one of the main reasons is that it's cooler this evening. Steve has got himself backed up into the wall here. He's going to receive another caution point. That means both wrestlers have double cautions. A third one for either of them will throw him out. That's double jeopardy, it's called. Well, we should see quite a finish then because both wrestlers have to go all out. They have to prove to the referee they want to wrestle. No backing off. Daniel's got a comfortable lead, 11-7, but if he does lose that next caution point, that'll knock him out of the match. So he has to stay on the offense throughout. This is an important strategy here because Steve has to wrestle again in about an hour, and he may be pacing himself a little bit, trying to conserve some energy for that final match against Picos from Australia. Singh just picks up the single point because he got behind to show he was in control. Now the score is 11 to 8. There are only 19 seconds to go, but uh, don't count Singh out of this yet. Daniel is going to have to go all out here. Let's see what he does. He may stall it out in hopes of not drawing that caution, or Steve might take one more offensive shot just to stay into it. Yeah, he should just sit on that leg and sit and ride it out. Singh gets another single point for a takedown. Now it is 11 to 9. Daniel's got it. But the match is over. Well, just one second to go. Daniel will pick up the win. 11 to 9 for Steve Daniel over Singh of India. He wins at least the silver medal in this class, 90 kilos. And later this morning, he will face Picos of Australia for the gold. So Canada picks up its fourth medal in wrestling here. Two of those gold, the other two are silver and can turn into gold. There is Steve Danier, victorious in this 90 kilos bout over Kartar Singh of India. Don't waste some pretty good strategy on the part of Steve Danier. Yeah, I think he, he used just as much energy as he had to for that match because he realizes he's going to have a real physical, rugged match against Picos from Australia later. So he paced it just enough to win. Steve Danier of Canada picks up at least the silver medal in 90 kilos.